Today on Sam's Gamer, we're talking about one of the most rapidly growing car cultures in America, drifting. German. I want to learn all there is to know about drifting. The best way to learn is just to jump right in, so let's do it. With this, my new 1992 Dodge Stealth RT. Uh, I will admit, it's not the twin turbo wheel drive model. However, it is dual overhead cam with a 5 speed manual transmission. I mean, this got to be good enough, right? And I'd love you telling your preferred screens right now my car is the JDM. I gotta tell you what, this car's coach JDM, my dudes. Underneath this Dodge badges, Mitsubishi 3000 GT. That means you get the famous Mitsubishi reliability with the expert buildability that Dodge is known for. You cannot go wrong. And uh, if you don't know what JDM means, by the way, it's an acronym for Japan Domestic Market, meaning your car initially meant to be sold in Japan. But to the Drift Boys, it's less an acronym, more a lifestyle. Now the key to drifting is using the handbrake to slide gracefully through the turn instead of attacking with the racing line. Now I will admit the Stealth is front wheel drive, and that's not really ideal for drifting. However, it does have enough pep that we should be able to make it happen. All right, here comes our corner. Here we go. What? All right, so I may have forgotten my handbrake is uh, broke. Now I didn't break the brake, the brake came broke. If I had broke the brake, I'd break the bank for the sake of the brake. I mean, I can't live with a broke brake for goodness sake. And I guess that's why I'm broke. But anyway, clearly we're gonna need to find a real drift car. And a few cars more popular with drifters than this. So Ryan, tell us about the car. I gozaimasu. wa Ryan Brandis. Kore wa uchinchin ga daisuke nandiyo. Soshite kore wa watashi no Nissan Civic. Speak English, Ryan. Hi. Sylvia doesn't make the Japanese. Hey, it's not even a Sylvia. It's a 240SX, the American version. Yeah. Well, it really made the 240 legend. It's the imported SR20 DET motor from the Japanese market Sylvia. Uh, it doesn't have the SR20. What? Yeah, I don't have the SR20. Well, the US market KA24 DET motor is still an impressive piece of kit. It has <laughs> a prox <laughs> Alright, so, no turbo. That's fine. Let's do this anyway. Well, at least if I die, it'll be on camera. <laughs>